Good morning YouTube, my name is Kayla Rain and today I will be doing the song title book tag. So I hope everyone is having a particularly good Monday morning and for all of my US subscribers, a good President's Day. Hopefully you're off. I'm not. I'm uploading this before I go into work so for those of you who do have the day off, I hope you're enjoying it. So I was tagged by the lovely Alexis from Shelf Life Extension and this tag was originally created by Alice Reitz and I will link both of those in the down bar below. This is a really fun tag and it just kind of revolves around different song titles and then you choose a book according to the song title. So let's get started. The first song is November Rain by Guns N' Roses and the question that goes with this song is pick a book with a very sad ending. And I will be choosing The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. I just think the ending to this book is really, really sad. I mean, it has really great closure, but it's just... I mean, the build-up to the ending of the book is really tragic. And then, I mean, it's a book narrated by death. Can it be anything but sad and tragic and beautiful and thought-provoking and so many other things? But sad. Sad is the main thing. Next we have Another One Bites the Dust by Queen and the question that goes with this song is what is a book that has a lot of killing? And I'm going to go with The Terminals by Roy Scott Buckingham. This is a book about a bunch of terminally ill children that are recruited by this secret agency thing, super spies, and they just go on these awesome missions and they're like super pumped up on this special drug and just a lot of death and killing and other things ensue in this book. The third song is Oops I Did It Again by Britney Spears and the question that goes with this is what is a book that you have read more than twice? Is anyone surprised? I mean really, really? The next song is Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd and the question that goes with this is what is the book that you are currently most anticipating? And for me that is going to be The Uninvited by Cat Winters. Oh, I want to read that book so bad, like, now, right now. Oh my gosh, I want to read that book now. The next song is No Light, No Light by Florence and the Machine, and the question that goes with this song is, what is a book that was so bad, you just want to put it in a dark corner where you will never, ever, ever, ever see it again? Ever. For me, that's going to be The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, and I know quite a few people like this, but mm -mm, not for me. Our sixth song is Final Warning by Skylar Grey, and the question that goes with this song is, what is a book with a kick-butt character that you would really not like to peeve off? And I'm actually choosing multiple characters. I'm choosing Artemis, Wade, and H, because this trio together, you just, you don't want to mess with them. They're hardcore gamers, and they have passion, and they're nice people, and they'll get you. Our number seven song is I'm Not Okay by My Chemical Romance, and... Oh my gosh, MCR, life, moving on. The question that goes with this song is, what is a book that deals with a difficult subject or bullying, something along those lines? And I actually have two choices for this one. My first choice I do not have with me, but it is going to be Sisterhood Everlasting by Ambrashers. And if you've read that book, you know why it's difficult. And then my second pick for this question is Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King and this is just a really beautifully written book about a boy who deals with bullying and just kind of his escape from it and how he deals with it and then kind of faces it and uh, I love this book. Our next song is going to be Breaking the Habit by Linkin Park and the question that goes with this song is what is a book that you read that kind of broke out of your comfort zone but you still enjoyed? My choice is probably a little bit creepy and weird for you guys so I apologize but it's actually really good um, and it is Stiff, The Curious Lives of Human Cadavers by Mary Roach and this is a book about cadavers and all the amazing things they can do. Our number nine song is Happy Little Pill by fellow YouTuber Troy Savon and the question that goes with this song is what is a book that makes you happy? Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins is just it's such a feel-good book like if I had to put a sound with the feeling of this book it would be <sighs> 
because that's what it feels like to read this book. And the final song is Dusk Till Dawn by Lady Hawk, and the question that goes with this song is what is a book that you read in one sitting or you stayed up all night reading? And when I was a sophomore in college, I read this book in one sitting, ended up not studying for my province stats test, still made an A, The Power of the Perks of Being a Wallflower. Yeah, it's a good book. <laughs> And now it is time to tag other fellow YouTubers that I would like to do this tag so I can see their questions and I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I've had caffeine already. It affects me a lot. <laughs> I would like to tag Rebecca from Wide Mermaids, Emma from Emma Books, Erica Esther, and Heather from Heather Book Reviews. Alright guys, you're up next. I want to see your answers whenever you get to it. That's cool. Really and honestly, anyone who wants to do this tag, that's fine with me. I mean, just leave a comment down below so I know if you're doing it so I can go watch your videos too and see what your answers are. Alright guys, so that has been it for this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos as I upload them. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye! Mm. Oh. No.